Kato was born on the 5th of October in 1964. As the first child of her father, born on the 14th of November 1932, and her mother, Saki, born on the 4th of February 1936. When Megumi was just four, she became a big sister to her twin brothers. Her father worked for the Bank of Japan. In July 1976, he was transferred to Nikita, and the family of five settled in the town by the sea. His biggest hobby was photography, and he took many pictures of his young family. On the 5th of October 1977, Megumi became 13 years old. About 10 days later, in mid October, the whole family went to Nikita Airport to see Shiguru's father off who had been visiting them. Megumi's photograph was taken at the airport that day and later became the last photo of hers to be taken in Japan. In the photograph, her hair was much shorter than before as she had ventured off to try a different hairstyle. On the 14th of November 1977, Megumi presented her father with a comb for his 45th birthday. The next day, on the 15th of November 1977, Megumi did not come home after school, staying late to play badminton. Having parted ways with her friend at a street corner on her way home, she vanished. When her parents' frantic search failed to find her, they reported her disappearance to the police. Despite the police's best efforts, they found no clue, no witnesses, no signs of foul play, nothing. Megumi's devastated family had to live nearly two decades in the dark, not knowing what had happened to her. And overwhelmed by grief, her mother would shut herself in a cupboard to cry so that the twin boys would not see her. Megumi's father cried too when he was alone having a bath. From the 1970s to the early 1980s, an unusual number of Japanese citizens has suddenly disappeared under mysterious circumstances. A journalist noticed that three young couples had vanished within two months of July and August in 1978. All of them were believed to have been by the sea at the time of their disappearances. He subsequently published an article on the 17th of January in 1980 under the headline, Three Couples Mysteriously Disappear, Foreign Spy Agency Involved. The issue was raised at the Japanese parliament two months later for the first time but was not taken too seriously and no action followed. Several years later, Korean Air Flight 858 was bombed in November in 1987. The two perpetrators turned out to be North Korean agents carrying fake Japanese passports. They both tried to kill themselves by ingesting cyanide and only one of them, 25-year-old female Kim Hoang Hao, survived, but she later confessed that she had been taught Japanese language and customs by one of the Japanese abductees in North Korea. With the investigation by the Japanese authorities, helped by testimonies from North Korean defectors and former agents, it gradually became clear that North Korean government was involved in the abduction of Japanese citizens. Eventually, Megumi was officially recognized by the Japanese government to be one of the victims of the North Korean abductions of Japanese citizens. Japan's Association of Family of Victims Kidnapped by North Korea was formed in 1997 and Megumi's father became its first representative. He served the post for 10 years until his deteriorating health forced him to step down. There was a major development in 2002. Then Japanese Prime Minister at the time visited North Korea on the 17th of September. According to a former North Korean diplomat at the time, the Japan Prime Minister promised to give North Korea 10 US billion dollars in return for admitting to the abduction and returning the abducted. Kim Jong II accepted the offer and verbally apologized, stating that the abduction had been carried out without the knowledge of the North Korean government and those responsible had already been disciplined. Although Japan officially recognized that at least 17 of its Japanese citizens had been abducted, North Korea insisted that the number of the actual abducted citizens had only entered the country and were only 13, and that eight of them, including Megumi, had already been deceased. Therefore, there were only five survivors. The cause of the eight deaths were explained as two in car accidents, two by gas poisoning, two of heart attacks, one of cirrhosis, and one of suicide. After negotiations, the five survivors were allowed to temporarily return to Japan and they placed their feet on the soil of their homeland in the following month, on the 15th of October 2002. The five survivors understandably refused to return to North Korea, even though some of them had left their children behind. North Korea condemned this and rejected further negotiations. Because the abduction theory was too far-fetched to believe, until there was strong skepticism in the general public of Japan. The North Korean government would not admit to anything and blew all theories away. The fury of Japan's public was tremendous. In May 2004, 
the Prime Minister visited North Korea once again for the second time. Although he could no longer give North Korea 10 US billion dollars, the children of the returned abductees were successfully released in Japan in May and July that year. At the time of Megumi's disappearance, police used sniffer dogs, but the trail went cold about 800 yards from her home. What happened to Megumi finally came to light when a former North Korean agent who had actually abducted Megumi made a statement. According to him, while Megumi's family were frantically searching for her, she was already confined in a cold and dark hold of a boat en route to North Korea. It is believed that Megumi's teacher was also another victim of the abduction from North Korea. According to North Korea, Megumi married Kim Young Nam, a South Korean abductee of the 13th of August 1986 and gave birth to a baby girl on the 13th of September 1987. In September 2002, North Korea stated that Megumi was hospitalized on the 29th of January 1993, suffering from depression. Two months later, after walking in the hospital grounds with a doctor's escort, Megumi managed to commit suicide by hanging herself from a pine tree. However, in November 2004, North Korea amended their statement that Megumi was hospitalized in March 1994 and killed herself on the 13th of April that year. She was initially buried behind the hospital, but in 1996 or 1997, her husband exhumed her body for cremation and burial in a new location. Because of this, the location of her grave is now unclear. Her husband, Kim Young Nam, later remarried and now has a son with his second wife. In November 2004, North Korea returned a very small amount of Megumi's remains to Japan, together with a few photographs of her taken in North Korea. DNA testing was carried out, and it was concluded with controversy that the remains were not hers. Due to the lack of evidence of her death, many people in Japan would like to believe that Megumi is still alive. There have also been claims by North Korean defectors that they saw some of the dead abductees, including Megumi, after their alleged deaths. In China, some believe that Megumi may have been executed and cremated with others and therefore North Korea had no choice but to hand over the remains of someone else. As for Megumi's daughter, Kim Young Nao, her DNA matched with Megumi, which confirmed their biological relationship. Although North Korea had repeatedly offered Megumi's parents a chance to meet their granddaughter, the Yokotas had refused, believing that Megumi should come first, and also fearing that their visit might be regarded as acceptance of Megumi's death. Fully aware of their age and deteriorating physical health, however, the parents met their granddaughter, Kim Young Nao, in the Mongolian capital in March 2014. Born in 1987, Kim met her husband at a university in Pyongyang after he taught her computer skills and they became close and married in 2011. Their daughter was born in May 2013. Kim came with her family, her husband, and her daughter. Afraid of getting Kim in trouble, the Yokotas did not talk much about Megumi. Kim just reiterated that her mother Megumi was dead. Megumi's parents later stated that they spent three days together and Kim cooked them a wonderful meal. Megumi's mother loved seeing her granddaughter and her great-granddaughter, as she only had grandsons in Japan. She also realized that later, it probably had been the last chance for them to travel abroad to see Kim, as Megumi's father's health deteriorated soon afterwards. The Yokota's long await for Megumi's return is now in the 31st year. For the first two decades, they had no idea what had happened to their daughter. They had spent the next two decades tirelessly campaigning to get their beloved daughter back with tremendously decency and dignity. Her parents published in a paper a letter to Megumi, 40 years have gone by without you. Don't give up, you are coming home. At the time of Megumi's abduction, they were in their 40s, but 40 years on, Megumi's mother has become 82 in February this year and her father has become 86 on the 14th of November. The day before the 41st anniversary of Megumi's abduction, in recent years, Megumi's younger brothers have taken over their father's role. The twins were only 9 years old when Megumi disappeared. They are now nearly 50 years old and are fathers themselves. It has been reported that Megumi's father, age 85, lost his power of speech and ability to walk about two years ago. He was hospitalized in April this year and Japan's prime minister visited him. It was later confirmed that some of the members of the Japanese Red Army assisted North Korea and carried out the abductions of three Japanese citizens which took place in Europe. North Korea claimed that the six graves of the deceased abductees had been lost in a flood. Remains of one or more deceased abductee was returned to Japan, but that DNA did not match either. Because Megumi was the youngest victim by far, she has become the symbol of the whole issue over the years. A young girl was robbed of her own family and the future she was to have. Young parents were robbed of their first child and only daughter. A young, ordinary, decent, and happy family were robbed of their normal, happy future.
Megumi's daughter has retracted statements made about her mother claiming she has no recollection of her, according to a Japanese newspaper. She now claims to a government inspection team when they visited Pyongyang that she said, We visited the mountains, the beach, and other places together so many times. It was beautiful. What I think personally is that Megumi is still alive to this day, but she is not able to voice how she is okay and alive. Maybe Megumi is living a nice life in Korea as much as she is able to, but due to all the stigma and controversy around her disappearance, the North Korean government will not let her come out to see her family or let the public know anything about what happened other than what they decide to put out to the media. As the statements made above by Megumi's daughter, how would she remember doing all of those wonderful things with her mother if she committed suicide shortly after her birth, especially since she was born in 1987? I myself don't remember much from my childhood until I was about 6 or 7. How could she remember all of those activities if she was between 1 to 4? Unless Megumi had to keep quiet so that Megumi and her daughter could live a normal and happy life or otherwise they would take all of that away if she'd spoken against them. My theory about Megumi's daughter and her true father is a higher up official of the North Korean government. Why do I think this you may ask? The main reason is being that during the meeting with her grandparents, it was highly televised and during the media coverage, Kim's father seemed to be very robotic in reading from a script. He is a victim himself of being kidnapped by North Korea but says that the North Korean ship is what saved him and carried him to the free land in which reality is not true, and when he spoke of Mangumi and how she was when he knew her, it was very odd, and seemed to be like information that was either made up or given to him. When Mangumi's daughter visited her grandparents with her own child, she brought her whole family except her father. Why wouldn't you bring your father? I know that in Japanese and Korean culture, family is everything. That is something they pride themselves of very greatly, so that is very strange to me. They could have had a falling out, but considering I haven't seen them in pictures other than what was shown on that day and taking during the meeting with her grandparents that involved all that media coverage. Also, I did more digging after editing this and found out that Megumi's daughter went to the same school and graduating with Kim Jong's mm, little sister, and that his sister personally went out of her way to recommend Megumi's daughter for a position that was close to hers and that she would be beyond perfect and qualified for the job. I mean, who's gonna tell her no? No one would dare think of that. Which brings me to my point in all my theories. Why would they have a girl who is a daughter of Japan's biggest kidnapped victim go to such prestigious schools and get very close with the most important people of North Korean's government? Maybe because she happens to be part of the family and they just couldn't do that to one of their own. Especially since she is very close to Kim Jong-un's younger sister, you wouldn't dare to be so bold and go against her. On June 7, 2020, Shigeru Yokoto, whose tireless campaign for the return of his kidnapped daughter and other abductees from North Korea made him a well-known figure in Japan, died on Friday outside of Tokyo. He was 87. If she did happen to pass away, I hope her and her father are finally at peace and together again. And if she is alive, I hope she is living her best life. I want to end this video with a tribute to Megumi's life and the wonderful life she lived with her family. Links will be in the description for Megumi's anime and the tribute video I got from these amazing channels, and especially the one that took the time to gather the photos from her life. You are never forgotten, Megumi.